Hi guys, my name is Joanna and welcome to my channel. I will be filming a get ready and get to know me for my first video. I'll be getting ready. I actually asked some of you guys to send me some questions, but since it's, it was such late notice, I only got a couple. So I'm just going to be doing a kind of like an everyday makeup for me, a natural looking face. To get started, um, I am Joanna Gonzalez. I am currently 20 years old. I will be turning 21 in December 22nd. So um, that is coming shortly. Um, I am a mom to my five-year-old little boy. He uh, turns six in January 14th. So that is uh, exciting that I'll be doing. I'm hoping to do videos of like birthday parties and you know, stuff like that. My reason of doing YouTube is just, like I said, it was to do something fun, uh, something exciting, something different. Uh, I was born in El Paso, Texas. I was from born there and moved to Roswell when I was only like two years old. So I lived practically in Roswell my whole entire life. Um, my parents are from Mexico. I actually have my mom from Coctemo and my dad's from Juarez. So we go to Juarez a lot since they're still family. Um, actually my first ever even just doing a video so I'm kind of excited I don't know how it goes um, I'm obviously loving to learn something so different and so just fun it seems so fun um, I got inspired um, by a couple of people actually local here doing YouTube so I was actually happy for them and that just motivated me like I should do it too Yes, I'm actually going to start um, just on some topics and just information about me that I did receive uh, on Snapchat, Instagram. I think that was it, actually. Oh, I actually got uh, pregnant at 14 and had my baby when I was at, when I turned 15 so that's pretty crazy um personally I always will say my parents taking care of me from day one um they were always so understanding and they just supported me financially physically through everything so shout out to them um because they actually made a, my life easier as a mom as a teen mom um especially that judgment you know people give you um i don't have i had a lot of like supporting friends and i was only a freshman so that is pretty crazy um you know entering freshman especially high school just entering high school alone was a nerve-wracking um experience so being pregnant was on the top also um, but I actually have met a lot of nice people over there teachers are awesome I love Roswell High that's where I graduated from they I don't know I just think they're so I just think they're so supportive so understanding um, the teachers will literally help you um, I had a lot of help from my teachers and I feel like without my teachers I wouldn't have graduated in honors so thank you for that I have a lot of love for Roswell High and the memory I'm now so I mean like I said I didn't have a hard it wasn't nothing was hard about my teen mom pretty much just being just changing adapting to being a mom was probably the only thing um, personally like I said I've had so much support um, as a mom now, um, it, it, it is pretty hard now, um, especially due to COVID and the school. My son was supposed to start kindergarten, or he did start kindergarten, and um, he started kindergarten, but 
of course due to covid we had to do online stuff which i hate it he isn't too happy about that um but he does go to therapy so being a mother it's it's fun it's exciting it's 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 very reward rewarding at the end i feel i feel you know as a teen mom you feel guilty or you feel like you're not doing enough but at the end of the day they don't really care about material things they really they're really happy that you're around or that you're happy so i try to make sure that he's always in a positive environment always taken care of um yeah that's pretty much about being a mom um i would like to do actually another video about my pregnancy just like about my pregnancy alone and being a mom i think those are actually some interesting videos especially for people who don't feel don't feel that they have that support but i do want to do something like that um, it's really hard you know um growing with them because you you change people change and of course little humans change so you're always learning something new about your son or your kid and and it's very fun i'm pretty mad i broke out because i slept with my makeup and i was that's karma for sure because i never really get these pimples i always have acne around here which mm, i'm already used to i already feel that's part of my face but this hurts i love being a mom it's so different it's like I said, everybody has a different story. Everybody does um, parenting different. I support every mom that I know because it's hard. It's even the after part, it's hard. Like the friends, the, you know, babysitting or getting a break that people don't think you need a break. And it's, it's confusing, but. I think people will understand once you're a mom so the best part of being a mother like i said is actually rewarding it's so much fun to know uh that they're just you know they love you with all their heart they're so i think boys are such a mama's a mama's boy and i love it i'm all here for that i love to spoil my son even though he's a brat but he is so special to me. He takes care of me. He doesn't know it, but he takes care of me. And I love that. Um, next question is baby number two. Am I going to have another baby? Um, personally, in my mindset, no. I am not planning on another baby. I actually think I will probably be on birth control for the longest time of my life. Um, yeah, I'm not, I would love, I love my siblings. I actually love, love, love my siblings. So I do feel so guilty not giving mine, my own son siblings, but it's just something I'm not hoping or planning for. If it happens, of course, I will do what I can to be prepared like I am, like I did for my son. But this time it's just so different. Um, just, I don't know. I don't see myself spoiling another baby. <laughs> and I feel so guilty, but I love my son. I want to keep him. I want to cherish all the love that he gives me. And I don't want to make him feel jealous for another baby so yeah that's i don't plan to I, I love the thought of it but i don't i wouldn't do that my poor baby
Okay guys, I'm back. I actually just did my lashes. Um, I actually decided to go with the Ardell Wispies. Um, I was talking about doing um, or answering a question. Uh, so uh, my friend, um, she's 20 years old. She wants to get pregnant. Um, but she doesn't know if she should wait or what's my opinion on that. Um, personally, in my opinion, I think that's if you are ready, if your partner's ready, obviously with communication, you get to know. Um, if you guys are ready, that would be exciting. That would be good news, um, especially if you're ready, if you're stable in the relationship. I think it's such a good idea. Uh, to go for that um yes my my opinion on that is i support it whatever you decide to go with um i believe you can be a good mom even though it was anonymous 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 um I, i'm pretty sure you'll be great you'll be fine um i love to just be supportive my opinion was just to make sure that it's both part like both people in the relationship should be aware of course just like i said with communication let them know if they're ready you're ready and make a baby so that would be exciting um and to whoever that whoever sent me that congratulations if you do i want to be the first to know because that's so fun. Um, ooh, I like this primer. This is actually my first or second time wearing this. And it's really blinding. I feel good. This is hmm, pretty good. I actually feel good um, like I said I, I I'm not insecure about my skin I think I love my skin actually that's something I'm so confident about is my skin I can be bare face all the time I actually love my skin like this um just little imperfections but who doesn't have that anyways smells too much like sunscreen but this is actually my first time I wanted to be matte mm, I look glowy but it's okay uh, I'm not even gonna be doing anything after this I'm actually gonna just be um, going to the grocery store so um I actually love to do my face I think that's the funnest part about makeup. Yeah, so um, personally, um, since I'm almost done, I just wanna talk to you guys about what I wanna do next. I wanna do like a mukbang video. Um, personally, I do want y'all to meet my fam. My family's so cool, I love them. They're so, I well, my dad and my mom are fluent Spanish, so there might be some spanish videos coming up which is pretty exciting honestly um but i don't know what next what video i want to do next i'm just kind of going with the flow kind of see what's different like this one was such a last minute video so i didn't really plan anything as you can see i'm still needing some concealer for these under eyes I'm actually gonna go back to college. I I left for a semester. 
I left to I left college for a year. A year. It's gonna be a year. I think almost yeah, a year. And um Okay, so that's actually all for today and for my video. I thank you guys so much for the support. Personally, it wasn't a lot, but let me know if y'all want more information about my makeup because I'm feeling good. I look good. And loving this look, actually. I'm, I didn't know these lashes would look so natural looking. I hope y'all got to know me a little bit better. Please let me know what you want to see next. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.